welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. This is a 10 inch tablet and it's from 2019. There are different versions out there, different, let's say, years. I already did a review about 2060 model. I was very curious what are we going to get with the 2019 model. What did they improve? And yeah, in this video, we're going to do an unboxing. What are we going to get within the box? And how are the performance, etc, etc, etc. All right, let's do a little bit of unboxing and let's see what's inside. Inside we will find the 32 gigabytes Wi-Fi edition that is having 64-bit octa-core CPU. It has a 10-inch screen, an 8 megapixel at the back and a 5 at the front, 2 gigs of RAM and a 6150 milliamp battery inside and Dolby Atmos stereo sound. And the Samsung tablet, if it's for the kids, it has some awesome features if you may believe the box and let's see what's inside so the presentation itself is very nice like the previous model I've reviewed it comes in this nice fancy box and with this protected sleeve on it all right I need to put it upside down otherwise I can get it out so like the previous model it weighs quite heavy but we're going to take a close look at it later let's see what's inside the box it comes with a quality power supply we having this white, I'm guessing is this micro USB or is it type C? That's always the question. And let's see, it comes with this. Ah, they are using a type C connection with the 2019 model. And let's see what we have more. We have the pin for, I'm guessing, opening up the SD card. And here we have the information about the warranty card. And in my case, the Dutch manual for how to quick start your tablet. All right, so let's do a little bit of unwrapping in this case. All right, so as you can see, we have this envelope style packaging with this blue stripe on it. Okay, let's open it up. All right, so here it is. And it got this very nice matte finish at the back. Here at the top, we're finding the camera. And still even the model size a little bit different. If you look at the very old models, I really like it. It looks nice. All right, there's a little bit of an overview before we powering it on and see what we're going to get. Here at the bottom, we're finding the two little speakers and the type C connection for charging and data transfer. Okay, here at the side, we're finding the volume control, uh, the on and off switches over here. And here is the compartment I was talking about. I'm going to use the pen. And this is how we open up and how we, there we get enter our CF card. So at the back we are finding an 8 megapixel camera. Here a short video of the quality of the camera from the Galaxy Tab A 2090 model. And here's some detailed pictures I've made with the camera at the back. And at the front we're finding a 5 megapixel camera. Alright, let's power it on. And let's see what we're going to get. But if you take a closer look at the screen, you can see it's beautiful it's responding like i'm used to the galaxy tab systems so here at the bottom we are finding the controls so going back to the main menu for example or the home button personally i really like it when it's on the tablet itself that's something i really love to know from you are you more like a person that wants to have the home button over here or do you don't matter that it's on the screen itself and how to add a widget it's pretty simple uh, everything is changed because this is a newer version of android Put your finger on the screen, as you can see here we get some new options when you're having widgets. Here you can choose from the widget you want to add, add them and scroll off, put them on the start screen. Alright, let's do some testing. First, let's check ADA64. Alright, here's some more information regarding the internal components they are using by Samsung. The first thing that I'm noticing is that we're having 2 gigabytes of internal RAM, but internal studio space is let's say around 580 so that remains the question is this two gigabytes enough there's something we're going to find out 
Time for the Geekbench number four. All right, so let's run it and let's see what we're going to get for performance. All right, so that completes the test for the single core. We get 1274 and the multi core 4007. All right, let's check the single core performance. Let's scroll a little bit down. All right, 1274. And let's see where do this tablet perform. And it's a little bit compared with the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. So, don't know what you think about it, but not bad at all. So let's see about the multi-core performance test and it is compared with the Google Pixel and the OnePlus 3. Alright, a quick peek over the temperature of the device itself in idle mode. So a tablet like this one is of course very ideal if you want to just browse on YouTube. And let's boot it up. Don't mind that it's taking some time to load simply because I don't have the best Wi-Fi option over here. All right, so let's scroll a little bit through YouTube and see how it works and how it responds. All right, let's see. Let's play a little music. And just check out how is this working, of course. And let's browse through the videos. The sound is very nice. Downloading is always so much fun. <sighs> Shut up Toad, I just want to play the freaking game. Alright, so we're going to test out my run. Yeah, I know, I am here, bye, go away. Just wanna play the freaking game. Ah! Let's play. Stop bugging me and please start the game. Yes, I want to play. Oh yeah! Alright, so let's do a quick test of PUBG. Hmm. Everything works very nice. Alright, so finally I have created an account and we are going to do some testing. How oh, is this working? And as you can see, median settings, it's running pretty smooth. So if you want to play some PUBG on the Galaxy Tab, it's possible. And if you want to have it a little bit smoother, you can always choose the lower settings if you want. Alright people, so for the final conclusion regarding the Tab A from 2019. 
they did a lot of improvements and I can tell you that the screen is beautiful I hope you can see it on the camera and, and overall the performance are quite good playing games like Mario is now a really problem but PUBG is playable and browsing the internet so and then overall for an, let's say an budget but because it's still a little bit of a budget tablet i think it's a pretty great device and great value for your money so yeah let me know what you think of this i really love to know and i hope this video helped you out i want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome wicked content and see you next time bye bye